Good morning, everyone. Purple Sky here. It is 2.09 a.m. and I'm awake. This time, I actually went to bed on time, my curfew, which is 9 o'clock. I feel refreshed. I feel much better than I have for the past few days. Just was very anxious, very excited, very happy. Still happy nonetheless. Yesterday, I was sleepy, but I wasn't tired. My body felt refreshed. Now, I don't feel sleepy, and my body feels refreshed. So, we're even. Before I, f I focus on what I want to be this video's focus today, just messing up all over the place, I have to... um. I have to correct myself for two things. Like, first off, I butchered Bogum's name yesterday. It's Bogum. That's how he says it. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. I believe you've forgiven me, but I, I, I want to do it formally. I'm really sorry. Also, in record of youth, it wasn't, his name wasn't Hai Jin. It was Hai Jun was laughing about that to myself yesterday because I had problems remembering Zhang An's name mostly while was while I was watching the series. But his name, you know, <laughs> I totally forgot. As for the two videos that I posted yesterday, I had like white stuff <laughs> in the corner of my mouth. It was one corner. And it was the other corner. And I said, you know what? The deed is already done. It's already out there. I'm learning from my mistakes and moving forward. So those are the two things that, two, three things that I wanted to address before talking about my journey through meditation. Uh, I've been meditating now for going into seven years on and off. I was introduced, well, reintroduced to meditation by my then psychotherapist, Melanie Zook, who I thank with every bit of my heart for reintroducing me to meditation the way that she did. I, she's the best psychotherapist I've ever had. She had to leave. So our relationship was cut short. I did. She told me about Louise Hay. I said, do research. She gave me some things to read and um, did all of that. I mean, I do. I like doing research. I have a, I have a bachelor's in sociology and psychology. I did a lot of research in college and enjoyed it all the way through. Stressful, but I liked it. It was fun. When I read and got a better understanding of meditation, of meditating, um, watch a few videos by Louise Hay, the late Louise Hayes. I stopped with Louise Hayes because she was talking about getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that you want to do. Like she was into artwork at an older age and like drawing and making art and saying, you know, I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Like, I can't do anything. And the things that I wanted to do, that I was curious into doing, I needed money to do it. So, what I did was I just explored my my geeky side more. Either way, I did meditate. And then, on and off, I finally came back into meditation in 2018 more seriously. In the beginning, I started with a three-minute meditation. Three minutes went into five minutes. Five minutes went into ten minutes. I currently feel comfortable meditating for 30 minutes. I just started silent meditation where I just sit for 30 minutes. Yeah, minutes, not seconds. Okay. Had to make sure I said the right thing. <laughs> 
medit when I tell people about meditating or I mention, you know, to try it out, not everyone is into it and that's fine. Everyone has their own vehicle into mental health. A lot of people say they want to do it, they want to do it, but they just can't do it. Their mind is so busy. I had anxiety, suffered with anxiety so much about things that that weren't even a real reason to me to be afraid. I was brought up I want to say this correctly. Um my mom was very um was I can't remember the word cuz I love her. But I, I, I didn't do a lot when I was younger. I didn't hang out with friends and all that stuff. I, my mom was overprotective. That's the word. She was overprotective. Um, and I get it because she lost, She almost lost me when I was eight years old. You know, doctors told her stuff and she didn't know any more than to trust doctors. So I'm not mad at her about that. So I was, my mom is very paranoid about a lot of stuff. She's better. Or well, I've learned how to handle her paranoia better. It makes me laugh. But just like, oh, this could happen. What if that happened? What if that happens? And it became the way that I looked at life. I had to change that. So meditating helped. It was hard. It was hard. It's not. It wasn't just a one day overnight thing. You don't just sit there like your mind is going to wander. Everyone that talks about it do mention your mind wanders. The idea is to always is to control your mind, control your thoughts. Come back to your center. Breathe. Just breathe. I needed to breathe. If this is very touchy for me to talk about because <laughs> it's not a personal journey with my meditating, but it's not black and white. It's not. I'll tell you that it is simple. You know, you're just saying there, but why can't we sit for three minutes? Let's talk about three minutes. Because you could be doing anything for three minutes. You could be <laughs> finishing an assignment or cleaning up your bedroom or anything that needs to be taken care of. Let's say five minutes. You have no time to sit down for five minutes. No. Five minutes doing absolutely nothing but sitting there and focus on my breathing. Oh. I can't do five minutes. Five minutes? You know what I could be doing in five minutes? It's also scary. Sitting there and just doing nothing with your eyes closed let's say in public there was uh, at my job we had our PD which is professional development and what we were focusing on was mental health and the speaker she had us all sit there and meditate just close our eyes and sit there and a lot of, a few people, they were talking about how uncomfortable, how uncomfortable they were, you know, how nervous they were and, you know, just fear. You know, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's around you. Your eyes are closed. I get it. But then I spoke up and I said, you know, I, I said, I, I didn't experience any of that. And it's not just because I was already meditating, you know, this wasn't new to me. It was because 
I felt, I believed I was safe. I believed that I was in a safe environment. We were in the building. We were together. You know, we have security guards downstairs or police officers, how, how police officers, which is how they're recognized now in schools. We have those. So we, I believed that I was safe and outside, you know, the cars, the, the trucks, the bus, it's just, it's loud. I already knew how to get comfortable with the loudness outside. I don't live in a quiet neighborhood. Just, I don't. Can't afford to live in a quiet neighborhood. <laughs> but I love my city. And that's what I remember. So, meditating is you connecting with you. It's you having your moment. You have work, you got the kids, you got the job, you got um projects to do. It's so much. And asking for five minutes may seem like a lot, but it's not. I want you to know you deserve to feel safe. You deserve to have control of your mind. You deserve an exhalation. I don't want, I want you all to stop waiting to exhale. Exhale now. Face your demons now because that's what I needed to do it was a journey and it was scary because I became naked I became vulnerable I forgot <laughs> I forgot my vulnerability because I felt I had to be tough as a woman, as a black woman, and as a survivor. i rather speak with love. And when I knew that was my voice, I knew how to strengthen my core and I knew how to project myself. So, it's a different experience for everyone, but I encourage you to give it a try. There are videos on YouTube that you can find three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, so on and so forth. I don't meditate every day. Some days I just want to chill, but I do meditate often. I would meditate no less than five days a week yeah I took a break like when the when we had the last day of school I took a little break just to gather myself just chill and it was very draining I just need a moment to be present and then I started back on Monday I haven't meditated yet because I think it's too I'm not ready yet I like to meditate between the hours of two and five, but I will also meditate because yesterday I meditated after six and it was good. I don't always meditate on the weekends. I'm going to meditate. I'm meditating today though. I want to. So yeah, please just do research. Headspace is also... A good vehicle because I used that as well for a bit. It was affordable, and I think Netflix has something with them now too. At least that's what the ad. That's what the ad told. I remember our ad about it. But yeah, give it a try. It's really good. It was pretty cool. So yeah, this is not the only time I'm gonna mention meditating. 
this will be a regular thing on this channel. Make great mention of it often because there's so much more to know about meditating. I've, I've done a bit of research and I like what I've learned so far. Um, we'll talk about the transitioning and there is a transitioning. And I'll explain that more in my next video. I want to end this by saying you have the ability to move mountains. Yes, mountains. You have the ability to move mountains until there is no mountain to climb. I believe in you. I love you as you are. And I love you for what you will become. Please stay safe.